What's up guys, only the knife here and today I've got a little history lesson for you and if you're wondering what I mean by that, okay, so what I'm trying to say is I'm going to give you guys a little history about myself, like where I came from, well, video game wise at least, uh, where or how I started knifing and all this stuff, like my only the knife background, stuff like that. So the first thing I want you guys to notice if you have not noticed already, but the quality of this video is different than that of my other videos. And what I mean by that is when there's movement, you might have noticed by now, but like lines go across the screen, it's like all blurry and stuff. I mean, you can still see what's going on, but the quality is like different. And the reason for this is just hear me out here. Um, this game was recorded sometime before January 10th, 2010. And if you're wondering like, hey, only the knife, why is it recorded from over five months ago and you're uploading it now? Well, this game, it was a game that I've referenced multiple times. It is, I'd say, my best game of Search and Destroy I've ever played in Modern Warfare 2. And the reason I never uploaded this was not because I was saving it, but rather when I looked at the gameplay, I thought it was boring. I don't really know why, but I thought it was boring, so I was like, no, screw it. I'm just going to save it or whatever and just don't really want to do anything with it. So, when I was looking through my, like, videos on YouTube, it wasn't on, I think I deleted it off my computer, but when I was looking at my videos, I saw a video that had only two views from January 10th, 2010, and I completely forgot about this game, like, that I actually uploaded it, but I set it as private, so I was like, wait, what video has two views? And it turned out to be this one, so I just downloaded it again, and... The reason for the lines going across the screen, I never mentioned that, but seeing as I never meant to do anything with this game, I never converted the file. So with Movie Maker, it like messes up and does this instead of actually looking like smooth and whatever. So that's the reason that it's all choppy and stuff. But another thing I want you guys to notice, just if you have not been noticing so far, which I'm sure you haven't really thought about it, but focus on my throwing knives in this game. Like right here, I mean, what was that? That was just absolutely terrible. But what I'm trying to tell you guys by saying look at my throwing knives is because, like I said, this game was taken from over five months ago. So what I'm trying to ask you guys, or tell you guys, is that I was absolutely terrible with throwing knives at this point. I mean, this is pretty much like a couple months after I started knifing on this game, not in general, but just in this game. And it took me a while to get used to them, and the reason I'm telling you guys this is because I do get messages from people asking, like, how do I get so good with a throwing knife, and, like, people just assume that it was always great. I mean, like, nowadays, like, in my newer videos, you guys may notice that I have gotten to a point with my throwing knives that I can be very effective with them, but from five months ago, as little time as that may seem, but... From that long ago, I was absolutely terrible. Like, a couple seconds ago, I missed a guy laying on the ground. Earlier this round, I missed a guy that wasn't even moving. I was, like, two feet away. And, yeah, so, like, if you guys have sent me messages, like, if you're watching this video, you probably know that my common response to that is just practice with them in public matches, which is exactly what I'm doing here. I just tell you guys that, and people think, like, I'm lying. I just don't really want to answer them, but... That's honestly what you do, you just practice in public matches, you will probably do terrible at the beginning like I'm doing here with the throwing knives, but over time you do get better with them. So that's just my advice, if you're wondering how to get like as effective as I have become with throwing knives, just keep practicing and you will get to that point if you have not reached that already. So yeah, um, now about my history, with the few minutes remaining in this video, I guess I will talk about that. So... I started knifing back in Call of Duty 4, so maybe a little over two years ago. And yeah, so I'm not one of the people that just started. Like, some of you guys, if you just found my channel, you might think, oh, I'm like an Only Use Me Blade fanboy or something. And I saw him, thought that was fun, and I just started. I have nothing against Only Use Me Blade. He's a great commentator. Great commentator. I love watching his videos. It's just he's not the one who inspired me. It's actually the same person that inspired him that inspired me. And if you don't know, then the person that did that is only used knife. He's on Xbox 360, and he actually inspired both of us with his first montage. Like, I'm going to put a link in the description to his montage, which inspired me. And 
it was a couple years ago, and I never even heard of knifing back then. No one has ever heard of knifing, pretty much. And one of my friends just on the computer sent me a message saying, check out this video. So I looked at it, and knifing was a brand new concept. I have never heard of it before, never thought of it before. And I just watched a video, and it wasn't really like... There was no special editing, there was nothing really too amazing about it. I mean, the kills were very nice, but like... Just the concept of only knifing, it was just amazing. I want to try it for myself, so I tried it in the like following weeks or whatever, and I st just absolutely fell in love with it. So I continued, and there was one day that I looked at the leaderboards because, or the accuracy leaderboards, because only used knife in that game was like in the top hundred or so because his accuracy was like 400 something percent, and. I went to his gamer tag and just looked to see if he was online, he, and he was actually online, and his game was joinable. I think it was Search and Destroy, like Team Tactical, on Countdown. So I joined his game, and I was put on the other team with like two little kids that were just like screaming that, oh my god, he's only knifing, and they're, they're just like all screaming and pissed off, and so I was just like, oh really, that's cool, and I... So I was on the other team, it was only use knife, only use blade, and I think maybe just some random person on the other team. So I joined their game, and I just wanted to see if I got what it takes to go against them. And I don't want to sound like a jerk by saying, oh, I'm the best or whatever. But if you ask them, I just completely destroyed them. It was just, like, the greatest time of my life. Not really, but it was still pretty awesome, and I just completely destroyed them, and I guess only use blade who told me like a couple months ago or whatever he said when that happened only use knife was just like I am legitimately scared of this Sergeant Freeman guy which Sergeant Freeman was my original gamer tag but yeah so I started when I saw that montage and I absolutely loved it fell in love with knifing have been knifing for about two years and now I have got to the point where I'm friends with only use knife I guess only use me blade just all these random knifers like who I'm playing with now and um, I, oh wow, actually, that's the end of the video, okay? So, only the shank just took my bomb defuse after I killed that guy, but that's it. They're just looking at me right there, and only used knife just looks at the leaderboard. He's like, oh my god, 17 and 2, YouTube worthy IMO. But yep, that's it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed my short little history, and peace.